Get ready for Mikey Sun TV. Four, three, two, one, zero. Hey, what's on? What's going on, guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Well, I'm kind of making this little video just to uh, kind of help other people that might be looking at weights, dumbbells especially. Uh, the way that they package these dumbbells and sell these dumbbells and word the wording for these dumbbells when they sell them can sometimes be a little confusing. Now, I ordered these dumbbells a couple of weeks back or so. And uh, they're based out of Canada. And they, they look like nice, adjustable dumbbells. I use that in quotation marks because basically it's dumbbell handles with spin locks. And you can put on however many plates that you want. So we've, we've had these for years. I guess they're considered adjustable. My opinion, it's kind of a loose term. Adjustable to me, to me is more like the, you know... The Bowflex or the other ones that the Iron Master, whatever they're called, where you can like do this and select your weights or take a pin and select your weights and that kind of stuff. And there's some other ones where you can turn a handle and select your, your weights. And so there's different kinds of adjustable dumbbells. To me, these are just basically old school dumbbells with a, a polished look and a polished price tag. But they're what I ordered. And what I ordered, uh, I thought. Let's go to shop. I thought that I ordered uh, right here. Adjustable dumbbell set, 110 pounds. Now I seen that and I thought, okay, well, let me check that out. So I went in here and I'm checking it out. Adjustable dumbbell sets, 110 pounds. So it's already got me a little bit on 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 edge because I, I you know I know what to look for but at the same time I don't know what to look for obviously so you look at the uh, description here adjustable dumbbell set 110 pounds now I guess I'm supposed to take that as the entire set is 110 pounds well I didn't and why well because I see the quantity over here is one but yet I see set. So set is usually more than one, but quantity is makes me think one. And I know, I guess I'm stupid. It was a blonde moment. Yeah, I used to be blonde. What's included? You get two of the dumbbell adjustable handles. You get four of the short screws, which is what locks the plates in place. You get eight tens. You get four fives, you get four 2.5s. Okay, so I get that. So what I'm thinking is each dumbbell is going to be 110 pounds. My stupidity, it's just kind of the way I took it. I don't know. It, my, my brain just kind of, you know, put it, put it like that. And also the price... Now, in, in Canadian price, it's with, uh, in Canadian price, with uh, the price of the dumbbells and shipping and handling, it came up to like 800 and something dollars, uh, like 835, I believe, if I'm looking at this correct. It came up to like 835 dollars, but whenever I checked out and I got my, my, uh, whatever uh, statement or whatever in my uh, email I opened it up and it said $665 and I was like oh okay well I guess they didn't translate it from Canadian to US at that point but they do at this point when you get your invoice invoice is the name I was trying to think of, of the email anyway so I got my invoice and it said $665 and I thought okay yeah that's definitely going to be you know 110 pound and 110 pound you know that's a lot of money 
So, uh, come to find out yesterday, late last night, I, I, I asked a question, or I made a statement or something on YouTube on, uh, on one of these videos about the Pepin or Pippin or Pepin, whatever, dumbbells, and, uh, or it was on Facebook, I don't remember, and I said, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, it's kind of weird that mine are coming with the short screws, being that they're 110 pounds, and the guy replied back, well, that's 110 pounds total, that's, 55 or whatever 50 or 55 pounds per dumbbell you know plus you have the weight of the handle so and I was like wait are you serious wait so at that point my mind is like oh my god did I really just freaking fall for that so this is a warning to everyone out there looking for dumbbells make sure you read and fully understand what you're looking at because I know I'm not the only person that has probably done this. And uh, I've canceled my order. And there's like two weeks of my life gone whenever I could have done something. Whenever I could have went and actually bought some dumbbells. And I could be working out right now instead of just with my high and low lap machine. I could be working out now instead of waiting and waiting. And then finding out that I screwed up on my order. So I canceled my order. And I've made sure this morning, I've sent emails, I've messaged another guy that's in the company and all that stuff, and I've canceled it and, and all that. And hopefully, they're not going to charge me the 20% uh, restockers fee or 20% inconvenience fee, whatever you want to call it. Because uh, hopefully, I have uh, caught it in time because they're actually always backed up. As you can see here, it says that they're on currently processing orders 10 10 10418 10475. And mine is actually like, oh, uh, different than that. <laughs> I'll just say mine's, mine's like in the 600s. I can't remember what it was, but uh, mine's in the 600s whatever you know like this says 475 mine says like 10 6 whatever so uh, technically I think in my opinion that I caught it in time and canceled my order in time to not be hit with the 20% fee we'll see because what's shocking is that that price it came up to like $130 or something like that 20% of 665 so that's a buttload of money to me I don't know about anyone else out there so this is just a warning whenever you're shopping for dumbbells make sure that you understand fully that most of the time from what I'm understanding what I'm seeing most of the time they're giving you a price the uh, total weight for the entire package Okay, not per dumbbell, but for the entire package. So that's something you gotta really look out for. Now, I was a little leery to begin with. Number one, their wait time. Number two, it's in Canada. Like, I can't just go next door and, you know, hey, where's my product or where's my money or where's this or that? You know, you gotta trust that you're gonna get something. From another country. Yeah, it's part of North America, but still another country. And uh, also, I was also leery because I know that there's a chance that I could order the wrong thing. And, well, that's what happened. So, for all of you out there looking for dumbbells, make sure you read over the fine print. Ask as many questions as you poss possibly can. Call them, text them, email them, message them. Whatever it is that you have an option to do, you better do. Or you're going to screw up like me. Now, I'm still waiting on the confirmation email uh, that I've canceled my order. Which I hope I get today. Or I'm going to go to bed like not able to sleep. Uh, and I hope that they don't hit me with the 20% fee. So, anyway guys. I just wanted to kind of let you know and give you a warning as to what to look for. And, uh, anyway... So I hope this is a lesson learned to myself and to anyone else out there. And I will be going 
probably to Academy Sports in Clarksville, Tennessee to load up on some dumbbells and some other stuff uh, once I get my money back. So anyway, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Check out the playlist. Check out the videos. Check out everything. Like, share, subscribe. All right. Like, share, subscribe, comment on my other channel. It's where I live stream video games only. It's called Old Mental Pickle. All right. Get up. Get out. Get ready. Do it to it. Even when sitting here waiting for a confirmation email about your money, $665, hoping that you don't get hit with a 20% fee. We'll see you guys later. Learn a lesson, guys. Learn a lesson. Get up, get out, get ready.